Seborrheic dermatitis is basically synonymous with dandruff. Dandruff is the common name for it, and seborrheic dermatitis is the medical name that we give it. Seborrheic dermatitis can infect other areas besides the scalp, from the central chest, the genital area, and the central face. The most common signs and symptoms of seborrheic dermatitis are redness on the scalp, scale on the scalp, and itch. Rarely people can experience some tenderness of the scalp, but mostly it's associated with an itch. There's many causes of seborrheic dermatitis. Many teenagers get it because they have increased sebum production from all of the hormones coursing through their blood. And with the increased sebum production, it's a good breeding ground for a type of yeast called Malsezia fervor. And you can decrease the yeast on their scalp by having them wash their hair with these dandruff shampoos. Other causes are inflammation. Uh, certain medications can contribute. Diseases like Parkinson's or HIV is associated with seborrheic dermatitis. And stress can make it worse, definitely. And alcohol is a known contributor. If someone were to have mild symptoms of seborrheic dermatitis, I would recommend using an over-the-counter dandruff shampoo. Usually, if you're using it two or three times a week, you'll have good success in clearing up the scalp. If it doesn't get better, then I would consult a dermatologist and see if you need prescription medications for your seborrheic dermatitis. Seborrheic dermatitis is very common, very manageable, and most of the time it doesn't turn into any huge impact in someone's life. <laughs>